Well, we're going to try it again. I made this video this afternoon because I was having uh, a get together tonight, a little game night with some friends. And I was concerned that, you know, the party might end late, which it never does because um, several of the people have small kids and they have babysitters. So it's never a late night. Uh, but still, I thought, well, I'll just do it this afternoon. It was so out of sync. Uh, I, I, I really think that the audio would be in the next video because it was like way off. It was not even close. So I, I didn't want to mess with all the editing. It just it was like not worth it. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping this will be better. I jinxed myself today actually, because this afternoon I was thinking, wow, the last few videos I have done have been in sync. Boom way off so uh there you go um i did ask some questions from the 70s these little 70s uh question cards i haven't done any questions in a while um so i'll i'll re-ask them uh yeah they're just let's see five grateful dead or led zeppelin uh grateful dead not that I'm a deadhead or anything, but of the two, that would be my choice. Uh, did you love or hate Greece? Um, I'm not sure I felt that strongly to love or hate Greece. I, I didn't really care for it. I don't know if hate's really not the right word. However, uh, I, I've never really been able to watch it since I saw it the first time in the theater. That was really enough for me. Uh, I mean, I, I hear the songs, obviously. Um, and I've seen clips of the movie over the years, but I, I just, I don't think that I could sit down and watch the whole thing again. And I just couldn't do it. It's just, yeah. Ding. Uh, let's see. What color was your kitchen? Our kitchen growing up was uh, yellow and green, like bright lemon yellow countertops, the Formica, bright yellow. And then we had a green and yellow backsplash which um, my mom had for forever. She got rid of it in the 90s. It was, it was way past its prime. Uh, and then we had, over the years, different wallpaper, but it's, it was always green and or yellow. Really, the whole house at, at one time or another was green and yellow all throughout the house. The, the downstairs carpet was sort of a, a mint shag green that I had to rake, as I've mentioned before in videos, which was good times. Um, but, yeah. Who was your biggest TV crush? Um, as I've said before, uh, it was Helen Reddy. I loved her. I still love her. Um, and David Cassidy. I know I'm, I'm all over the place. Uh, I was a big Partridge Family fan. I had the records and, um, you know, the posters. You know, he was the Justin Bieber of the 70s, right? And he was, you know, yeah. So, yeah. I, I never did like Sean Cassidy. I thought he was... He was icky. I don't know why I thought he was, he just bugged me. He, there was something off about him. I didn't, I didn't like him at all. But a lot of people, a lot of kids that I knew growing up were, were big Sean Cassidy fans. And I, I, I did not like him. And who was the most entertaining guest on Johnny Carson? Well, in, back in the day when Johnny Carson was on, particularly in the 70s, 70s I think it was, it was just, uh, it was really fun to watch. And it, had something to do with probably at the time there was nothing really else on to watch because there was only what four channels uh, five or six if you include the the VHF channels the you know the local channels um, but I did I loved watching Johnny Carson I'd watch him in the summer because we could stay up late and uh, the weekends and uh, or Friday night and um, my favorite person that he had on on a regular basis was Foster Brooks I know you're like who he was actually the person that I kind of model uh, Penny after. Um, he was this guy who I never saw him in any TV show or interview where he, he wasn't playing his character of drunk guy. He just was this, he just played this drunk guy. He was constantly drunk. And I don't think he really was. I think it just was his thing. But that was his persona that he was constantly. When he was on camera, he played the drunk guy. And he, he played it very well. And as a kid... I think I did mention this in another video as well. I used to, um, because I always was fascinated with voices and, you know, characters and stuff. And uh, 
I would I would sort of do him. And I'm sure if and I never did it in front of anyone because I think that would yeah, I just was way too shy for that. But also I you know, I not that I knew that then that it would be visually disturbing to watch like a, an eight year old play this drunk person. But I did enjoy sort of mimicking that that whole, you know, drunk um, you know, cadence, if you will. I, I enjoyed that very much. So, uh, and whenever he was on, I just was, I was riveted to the way he did it and everything. And, and I enjoyed that. So uh, of all the people that Johnny Carson had, he was my favorite. The party was fun. We had a good time. There was just uh, eight of us. It was just a small little game night. And uh, we played name that, the name game, which is, uh, I guess there's celebrities, well-known people that you would try to say, you know, who that person is. Um, and teams. We usually play Balderdash, but one person didn't want to play, so we played the name game and then we played uh, categories. Alrighty then, I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Mr. Foster Brooks! <laughs> I can still recall the day I first met you, Jimmy. It was uh, at the air base in Eng England. <laughs> we were in a briefing room, walking around in our briefs. <laughs> But, Jim, <clears throat> but Jim, Jimmy and I became good, good buddies and those two handsome young flyers. Naturally, we were surrounded by adoring service women. That's what I was born for, to service women. <laughs> I remember Jimmy, Jimmy was, was dating a whack, a wave, and a wha waff. And I wound up with a woof. <laughs> I always got the dog.